Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a clean and decorate with me. We're just gonna put some new items out in the kitchen to spruce it up for um, summer. Um, I have a bunch of stuff up here that I need to put away, a few decor pieces. Then there is the rice cooker. I need to clean that and then put that away, put dishes away and just clean up everything. Need to clean out the microwave, clean off the oven, and just get everything put away. Also, this pantry is looking a hot mess. I know you probably, but there's just a bunch of stuff back there. I'm sure that it can go in the refrigerator or whatnot. I need to fill this up. We washed it yesterday and just kind of go through the bins a little bit and rearrange the spices. So guys, let's get start cleaning. First, I'm gonna put my hair back. I wanna get um, this rice cooker off, off of the cabinet. I am just using a little water and vinegar to wipe it down. And then I'm gonna let um, put it away so that it'll be nice and fresh for next time. Next, I am going to make my way over to the microwave and it's just, just a little lemon and water and I'm gonna put that in the microwave so it can loosen up the dirt and grime on there. I do not clean my microwave out as much as I should. But um, here I'm just letting that work while I head over to the pantry. And the pantry just needed to be straightened up. I'll show you guys at the end, I got rid of a lot of packaging. Um, the extras stuff we store in the back, but then sometimes I don't get to it to throw away the packaging and clean things out. There were actually some empty boxes in here, my kids, but um, I also had to throw those out as well. And then I did want to organize the spices just a bit better so that on this Lazy Susan, which I love, that you could see all of them. So I just lined them up around the outside. So yeah, getting rid of packaging, filling up some of our containers that have run low, and just tidying up um, inside of this cabinet. You, when you organize cabinets like this, you can't just do a one and done. And I know I say this in so many videos, you have to stay on top of it or go back to organize it kind of frequently or it'll just become a hot mess. Um, tell me what in your house right now that you need to organize. Maybe you can watch this video and give you some motivation to get that one space cleaned up. But what is the one space in your house that always becomes a hot mess? Let me know down in the comments below. So now our spices are better organized and I'm gonna give you guys a final look and the pantry just looks so much better. It is very full, but it just looks better. And this was actually before grocery day. But um, this is all of the packaging that was stuffed in there that we got rid of and um, I feel so good about it. Now I'm gonna make my way over to the microwave and just wipe down everything, all of that dirt and grime and just stuck on food, got loosened up from the hot water and the lemon, and it smells so good. So I'm just gonna wipe that down really quick and then make my way over to the um, stove top. 
The stove top, I don't know about you guys, but we cook 99% of our meals at home, so our stove top is a mess all the time. So I'm just gonna get that wiped down. It actually, it was a mess, but not horrible. Um, it's been worse, but um, yeah, just gonna wipe that down really quickly and just wipe down the whole oven really quickly and then just move on to the next job. guys are new to my channel or you are new to watching this video I want to welcome you and I would love for you to join my YouTube family my name is dream I am a mama of two I live in California with our two kids and my hubby and I love making cleaning motivational videos those are my jam I like to decorate my house and clean and organize my house if you love content like that please don't hesitate to join my YouTube channel. I typically put up two videos a week um, and they're usually cleaning and organizing and decorating motivation. Um, like I said, if you guys love that stuff, please join my YouTube family. Okay, now back to the cleaning. Um, I'm just wiping down the front of my um, oven off and I can't wait. We are getting that much closer to actually putting up a little bit of decor. Um, after I put these dishes away. So a few dishes need to be put away. Let me know too, this is another thing. I have a dishwasher, my dishwasher works perfectly fine, but we are hand washers. So my sink never really fills up with dishes crazy because throughout the day when people eat and such, our rule in our house is you have to wash your dish. And of course, if you have younger children, I wash their dish. So we don't really let them sit in there, I wash them right away. And that has been our rule forever and ever. I've been with my husband a very long time. Um, so yeah, that's just our rule. When a dish goes in the sink, the person that puts it in there has to wash. If it's my youngest daughter, she's too little, but she does help wash dishes, but one of us will wash it. So let me know, do you guys hand wash dishes still, even though you have a mic, uh, 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 dishwasher, or do you put them in the dishwasher only? I hand wash a lot. I probably do 60% hand wash and then 40%. where I keep all of my dish towels. Um, this was just a mess and I needed to get rid of some things and just to clean it out and just to get it tidy. Um, you see me fiddling around with these. These are actually um, cloth napkins. I have other cloth napkins, but if they're seasonal, I store those in those seasonal box within, in the garage. These are just basic ones, but some of them were stained. So you're gonna see that I um, wind up throwing those out and I've only kept four. I can always buy more at Home Goods, and then I have these plain ones as well that I kept next to there. And then I bought a ton of new dish towels because those can get just dingy and not looking good. So I replaced those. I found a great deal. I found a pack of four for $4 at Home Goods, so a dollar a piece, which you can't beat. So I bought two packs of those, so I replenished my little kitchen towels, and now everything is fresh and clean. Just about done and I can start to sit 
my decor pieces out um, after I pour a little bleach in the sink um, for that to get out. If you have a white porcelain sink, this is the best way I've found to get out any stains that may happen in there, coffee, what have you. So I'm gonna put everything back. You guys know the mint scent from Mrs. Myers is my absolute favorite. I'm gonna put that back. I filled that little apothic jar with some um, muffins and I just love having fresh fruits and like fresh baked goods out during the summer months. Um, I just cleaned out the sink really quick and then now I'm just going to sit out a few pieces over here. Um, I got this new tray from Home Goods and I absolutely love it. It's very uh, rustic looking. I'm going to put that behind these little jars. In these jars I have like sugar, coffee, tea. This is kind of like my little station. Um, and then I picked up these really cute um, mugs from um, Home Goods as well. The trays from Home Goods too. And then just a little bit of greenery that I've had for a while from the Target Dollar Spot. I'm going to put up this little tier um, pedestal from Hobby Lobby that I've had for a while and then sit a little flower that I got off there from Home Goods. I just like my kitchen nice, bright, and fresh. Um, this area I'm going to wipe it down as well and you saw me I had just picked up the Magnolia story. I know I'm late to the party but I just picked up that book. It was on sale at um, Hobby Lobby but I'm gonna put that away and then just give this little countertop over here um, a little wipe down and then I will show you everything done. So we have this cute little um, tea towel from Tractor Supply. The other towels that I have are from Target. They come in a pack of four, I believe. But I really love this one. And then I have little muffins, blueberry muffins in my jar. And then I just like green things bright. Not too much clutter in my kitchen, but just enough so it looks nice and homey and cozy. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And like I said, I would love for you to join my little YouTube family. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. And I hope this provided some inspiration and motivation. Bye.